Hi, this is Paulette from The Magical Needle. And have you ever been piecing blocks together? Um, and then all of a sudden you notice that one of the blocks is actually larger. It's longer than the other block that you're pinning. And what do you do? Are you going to cut the block that may be a quarter inch larger down to size? Um, you're not really sure what to do. Well, this is what I do. I just pin, 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 and pin. So basically I take that fullness and I spread it out through the block. And as you can see, I have tons of pins going along. And then what also I do is I make sure that this is the same size over here on each edge as well. I pull it, then I, and then I pin it. Sometimes what happens is, um, depending how you cut it, depending if you're pulling on the block, it could actually stretch from, from the bias. So it will make it a little longer. And you don't wanna cut that down and make it smaller because then it makes the actual block itself a little smaller. Maybe it looks like it's a little uneven. So instead, I pin it and I push the fullness throughout the block. And then when you iron it, after you're done sewing it, you don't see anything. It's perfect. And this was a trick I learned from my quilting mentor, Kathleen, from Lovely Long Arm Quilting. Have a great day, and I hope this inspires you to create something magical. And I forgot to add, this is what the quilt block looks like. After I sewed that seam down with all the pins and I ironed it, Look how great that looks. Have a great day.